Alright, sausages, welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. Today, we're gonna see if we can't fight this gym. Um, my Pokemon aren't necessarily the highest levels, uh, but we're gonna certainly give it a try. <laughs> this shouldn't go that bad, and if I lose, whatever. I'll take a quick break and I'll level up some Pokemon. Either that or I'll go capture some higher level ones. Let me see if you're good enough to face Falconer. Barret Keeper Abe wants to battle. No, not Spiro. The meanest bird in all of Pokemon history. Spiro is pretty mean. Like, even Firo is freaking mean looking. <laughs> like, I imagine those as like the trash birds that like really get angry at you in real life. <laughs> It's not even for any good reason. Like, they don't even have any eggs in their nest. They're just like angry at everybody. <laughs> this wreck shit. <laughs> All right, there goes one. The keyword is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on! <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, Bird Keeper Rod. <laughs> He's one cool dude. All right, he got that Pidgey. Let's take out the bird. No one needs a freaking pigeon around here. All right, nice. Let's get some experience for somebody else. Another Pidgey. Uh, out comes Tui. Yes. Tui. Only slightly a mismatch. Come on. Go for, go for some criticals, Tui. This will never work. I got one more attack. Alright. Here comes Rick. How do you guys feel about Pokemon organization in your battle team? Uh, is it important for you to make sure that your Pokemon are uh, alphabetically ordered by level? <laughs> Oh god, I realize that I can't actually do anything to this Pokemon. This is this is absolutely pointless. Uh Spinneret, go. Yeah, I have to have my Pokemon grouped uh, by level. Um lowest to the top, usually. Uh and then um and then on top of that, within that level grouping, uh if they are the same levels, uh it's all alphabetical order. <laughs> oh my god, come on. Oh, well, that's fine. I was gonna have to heal after this anyway. At least I got them some experience. It's gonna be like nothing now that all four of us have actually had some. <laughs> It's like trying to split a regular size candy bar between like four people. You're not gonna get anything. Gah! <laughs> what? Gurg is evolving? An evolution? I wasn't prepared for this. Oh, he's cute. Congratulations, your Gurg evolved into Quillava. Cute, it's got a little fire butt. All right, well, I'll have to update that now. <laughs> In uh, one of the edits that I did um, with my masks, 
I had uh, I had Pokemon backwards. I put like a I put a Pokemon on my team uh, on the side before I even had caught that Pokemon. <laughs> so I just have to make sure that I pay attention to what I'm doing. I don't even have to take notes. Not that that much happens. Yeah, I should be fine. I just gotta make sure I pay attention. All right, let's go see if we can't fight Faulkner. Otherwise, this might be a very disappointing episode. So, this is a dollar sign, right? Is this guy all about the rich? <laughs> I'm Faulkner, Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying-type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of magnificent bird Pokemon. <laughs> if only had like some ice type Pokemon, that'd be great. I'll show him. Okay, he's got two Pokemon. They're probably gonna be like level 12? No, oh. Wait a second. Does, does he have like one weak one and then one strong one? <laughs> Pidgeotto. Let's swap just to give somebody some experience. I forgot to rearrange. Oh well. Um, alpha order dictates that you go first. Everyone's gonna get a piece of this pie. Uh, level 9. Oh my god. And I was worried about this. Can I do hypnosis on you? <laughs> might suck if he one-hits me. Thank God. And I'm sorry for doing this in the middle of battles. I just, I like experience sharing. There's really no reason not to. Um, especially for the fact that, uh, um, like the experience share doesn't work like it does in newer games, so... And I know that I, I, there's very little chance that I'm going to end up using a lot of those Pokémon all the time, <laughs> but I probably will hold on to at least a couple... At least one of them will make it to the end. I think I already know which one it's going to be, but uh, I haven't quite decided yet. <laughs> not necessarily a great move, but it is a move. Alright, there goes Faulkner. Darn, that's cherished bird Pokemon. Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr badge. <laughs> yes! Zephyr badge raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash. If they have it, any time. Here, take this too. I received TM31. What's this? Yes, I understand that. Think before you act. A TM can only be used once. You live in the past, Faulkner. Try getting to the future where TMs can be used over and over again. Mud slap. Interesting. Seems like a weird move for him to be giving out. Like, why isn't it some sort of, like, bird-related move? Hello, Jason. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Clack! I, I now realize that I had a cell phone in a video game before I even, like, realized that I would like having a cell phone in real life. <laughs> Good evening, you're out late. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Do you want to heal your Pokemon? Did you just throw these monsters at little birds at the gym? Oh my god. Yes, heal my Pokemon.
Alright, let's see what this guy has to say. No! God damn it. Jason, no long time, no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? Yes. I am trying my hardest to remember what this Pokemon is. I think... Is it an Eevee? I, I don't remember. Either that or it's a... Uh... No, it's not Togepi, is it? I don't remember. We discovered the Pokemon uh, will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Jason, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Ellen when that egg hatches. Alright, so now I have egg. <laughs> uh, Rick, you need to move over. Um... Hmm... Egg. It moves around inside sometimes. It must be close to hatching. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll find out what that is. Uh, let's do a safety save. What time we got? Uh... It's gonna be a bit of a shorter episode, I know. But uh, I think I'm gonna call it here. Um, when we come back... We'll be off on another direction, I think. Uh, yeah. I'll figure out where we're gonna go. For whatever reason, I don't remember. But yeah, see you guys soon. Bye for now.